Howdy folks, this is the Command Line Volpine here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress, or my walkthrough series for it. Let's be honest, it's kind of both at this point, trying to tutorialize things, but we're to the point, as I've said, where too much stuff has to take place over too many episodes to really make things very condensed, but I'm trying. <laughs> so, let's dig out these ramps over here. In just kind of a defensive measure. And also, I'm just trying to figure out where these holes are. If there are any more holes up here? I would love to know. I don't see any, but it's really hard to tell. And base is secured. The stockpile is full again, so we could probably... Actually, let's make some bone bolts real quick. Again, we can't put, like, an infinite order on bolts. Just because they grab the bolts so often that the stockpiles are always running out. Okay, something seems strange here. Why is there no seeds? These are seeds, but... Okay. I would wager that most of the stuff has been taken out of the stockpile now. So now... Turn off finished goods, and then we're going to turn off all of this except for seeds. Now we got to double check to make sure these stockpiles don't accept seeds. That one definitely isn't. This one isn't. I uh, wonder if this one might be on accident. It's not supposed to. Yep. I messed up. Don't allow seeds, please. You need to now give to that stockpile. I think I'm also going to shrink this stockpile. Let's see. Erase. half of it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make another new stockpile. Except that this stockpile is going to be a wood stockpile. We can just use the regular wood. We don't have to set any other special orders for that. I would just like people to start bringing in some wood so that if we have to close up the base for a siege or something, we'll still have some wood supply without having to go outside. That's probably going to keep people busy for a time. Also going to add a task to start preparing easy meals on repeat. We'll want to start making fine meals when we can, but our main, uh, our new cook is not very good at cooking. Yeah, you can see we're hunting again now that we've made some bolts. We have our people turned on to gather bolts from outside, but apparently it's just like bugged right now that they won't collect their bolts. Or maybe they're just breaking too much, but I don't know. They don't seem to be picking up their bolts. The way we can check that is a uh, labor standing order, which we set these at the very start. Right now, it should only be forbidden during sieges. I can turn it to just claim. The other thing I can do is we can go up to the top of the map and start doing a reclaim order. Scroll over to the other corner of the map. Scroll down. Click this layer. And unclick. That should unforbid everything on the map. Will hopefully help out their arrow capacity. Kind of considering digging our moat even deeper, but I don't think it matters since they have this. Enemies would have this path up here to try to attack us with too. There you go. You can see they're filling that up. Hopefully the seeds get taken back up upstairs because that was a bit of a mistake on my end. 
the heck? Oh, someone was taken by a mood. This is our first strange mood that we've had. The weaponsmith withdraws from society. So, dwarves occasionally get taken by strange moods. Let's claim the metalsmith swords. This is bad because I definitely don't have any metal bars. So, yeah. You're probably, yeah, they're complaining. Uh, shining bars of metal, pictures of a forest, so they need wood and metal. We can try to get some. This is why we build these doors. This person's on a fey mood or a bad mood. I don't know which one they're in. Secretive mood. There's a bunch of different types of moods. But they all gen generally work the same. There's small differences between them. All right, so... I have to assign someone to make charcoal. I don't really know. We don't have anyone who's... Who says they can do it, so... I have this animal dissector do it. We can make some charcoal really quick. I'm just going to assign the task manually. Once we have charcoal, we can make some coal at the smelter. And we can start smelting metal. So he's just going to stand here. They'll do it for eternity until they get their stuff, except they will eventually go psycho bonkers crazy and either start killing everyone, start harming themselves. You don't know what they're going to do. They're going to be very sad, maybe. Either way, the outcome is usually death of at least one dwarf, if not several. So that's why we build these uh, airlocks. <laughs> so that we can lock them in and then they can't harm anyone but themselves. Okay. Yeah, we still require fuel. It's gonna be a problem. There's not much I can do about it. Yeah, it's unfortunate that I accidentally moved the seeds. That wasn't supposed to happen. They don't really seem interested in moving the seeds back up. Maybe I don't have as many seeds as I thought, but... No, it says I have 200. I really doubt that they're all in just, like, one pot. <laughs> Bit of a pain. But yeah, now we are just hoping we can get these jobs done before... Guys, unfortunately, taking his sweet time. We don't really want to be smelting things with charcoal, but we have to start with a resource before we can get anything else going. Here we go. Now we can start doing this. Guess I will have this armor do this. Oh. Uh, just a button. There we go. Armor do that. problem is coal or metal is like the worst thing this person could have asked for because it's just there's so many steps involved in making metal fisher dwarf got stung by a bee I'm gonna do here actually now that we've started some orders. Charcoal. Make 10 if we have less than. Four. We don't want to run out of charcoal. So we just got to keep tabs on this. If it takes too long to get the coal and everything made, then we're just going to have to lock the doors and leave them to rot, unfortunately. This is also why we want two furnaces at least, because this one's going to be making coal all the time, and then the coal has to be used to turn ore into metal in the other one. Uh, 
then we are going to smelt hematite because I think it can only produce iron. On repeat, and this workshop is going to belong to... I don't really want. The milker, I suppose. I'm going to have to disable the milker's ability to do other things. Go. Oh. I guess. I guess I'll allow the hauling. Not sure if that's a good idea, though, either. <laughs> By having a lot more doors now, we still don't have enough to, like, have each person only do one thing. More doors, please, because... See how this, something rotted in here? That's why we need doors in a place like that. Doors are just highly important. All right, let's start building some bedrooms. Make a path like that. They only need to be two by three. They can actually be like uh, basically one by one, but I don't like doing that. It just looks really ugly. It feels a bit cheap. Cheating the game a bit. people trying to like min max their their size of their fortress will do it that way we're gonna do it this way like that and then we need like a an extra big space towards the end because eventually we are going to have some nobles. And they need extremely big spaces to live in. Like all three of these are actually just going to belong to a single noble, probably. Oh, they began a, began a mysterious construction. So that was our, this person. Yeah, see how it says work secretly now instead of saying that they need certain things. They were finally able to get their hands on some iron bars. <clears throat> The game is unfortunately saving, though, and I'm trying to explain things. One of those things we just kind of got to live with. Oh, yeah, it glitches out when you have a menu, menu open. I forgot. So yeah, now they're actually working on it because they finally got some iron bars. We're good. <laughs> Not going to lie there, though. They had us in the first half. More bone bolts. Masterpiece bone bolts. <laughs> this might be pretty good. Wish the doors would have finished whatever they were doing in here. Our weaponsmith has created... Detonothus, a iron battle axe. She offers it to the crystalline tombs. That's us. That's an artifact weapon, which I don't think I've actually ever had before, which is kind of cool. Artifacts are worth tons and tons and tons of money. We can find them down here. Some people actually come in with legendary heirlooms. Apparently this cubic keystrums guy had two, which is a little bit insane. But those aren't really for us, but... Dithonithus is ours. This is an iron battle axe. All craftsmanship is of the highest quality. It is encircled with bands of iron. On the item is an image of a dwarf in Candlenet. Actually not worth like the most amount of money, but... Depending on what kind of mood they had, that person might be a legendary metalsmith now. You can tell by clicking on this... Yeah, legendary metalsmith. You are our metalsmith for sure. 
that's the that's the benefit of the strange moods. Even though it can backfire and kill everyone, <laughs> is most of the strange moods after they build the item, they become legendary at that task, which is pretty sweet. That we have a legendary metalsmith. This means we're probably going to get masterwork weapons like all the time. So yeah. Wood furnace is done with its make charcoal job. And it probably won't have to do it anymore because now we have coke we have coal in order to make more coke. Not that kind of coke, the other kind of coke. Not that kind of coke either, the other kind of coke. <laughs> Go. Let's see. Do I have a crate beds order? I don't. Because we're just. Oh, we have some kind of alert here. A caravan from Zilban Dakaz has arrived. I don't know if this is our people or the humans. You adore for a human. They're dwarves because they need alcohol to get through the working day. <laughs> This is our normal caravan. We should have plenty of stuff to sell them this time. We we have a ton of like masterwork items. But yeah, we need to have our carpenter start making beds for our bedrooms. Bed. It might as well be a big order because we're gonna need a lot of them. So ten is fine by me. Caravans aren't huge anymore, I guess. Just by default in this game now. They used to be 3x3. Three three, so that's why all my bridges are 3x3. Three three, my main entrance is 3x3. Three three. But I guess they just come in on these smaller sizes now for sure. Rock dorks completed. Bins are done. So we're going to move goods to and from the depot. We've traded once before, I think. So I don't think I have to re-explain how to do this but we do have to go to our bins and we have to go manually <laughs> it drives me a little bit insane manually go in find our finished good bins come on i know we got more than dang three <laughs> i don't believe you been making crafts for like a year. <laughs> Diplomacy. He's on from the mountain homes. There's much to share. I'm not going to mark anything. It's just kind of a pain. You need anvils. Well, not going to be able to help you there. In fact, I need an anvil from you, bud. So you better have an anvil for me. We're also going to request our broker at the depot. I don't know if everything has been hauled here yet. So many pop-ups. Okay. Are you ready to trade? Right now our expedition leader is conducting a meeting. He can't be arsed. Come on. Do it over Zoom or something, bud. Gotta get you working. The smoothing order is complete. So, I guess since so many people wanted to spend time in this hospital, probably fancy it up a bit. Later. Bruh. How long does it take to make a meeting? That looks like our leader. Hey, here we go. <sighs> okay. <laughs> We've talked about my problems with uh, the trading system here. Yeah, see how it has like my crutches and stuff in it and my quivers? I can't sell those. I can't just mark the bin. I have to go manually mark all this stuff. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I forgot that in particular they wanted earrings, so I made a bunch of earrings. It's very handy when they want specific craft because that makes it really easy to get them what they need. A lot of it.
masterwork ones. Oh. <laughs> they really need a better way to do this. Really, it should be able, you should be able to mark the bin, which would mark everything in the bin, and then you should be able to deselect things that are marked without deselecting the whole bin. Seen it done in other games, so I know it can be done. They just got to set their mind to it. And it, it is getting cold in here because this room is not insulated and there's a blizzard passing through. I was kind of hoping the computer would keep things warm in here, but Dwarf Fortress isn't exactly the hardest on my computer. <laughs> okay. That's $6,000 of stuff. I don't know why it said each box was only worth 2000 earlier, because it's obviously worth way more. So, could it be the dwarf? Sure. It could be the dwarf. We'll grab that book. People love books. Cannot live without books. Also going to grab a cheap quiver or two, because those are... Might be a minute before we can make our own quivers and backpacks. Grab some cheap yarn. Take your plump helmets. I eat your plump helmets. And then, up oh, there's their anvils. Would you hand me over one of your iron anvils? You know what? Give me a steel anvil. Break it. And then I just want like cloth. Lots and lots of cloth, because dwarf stuff starts falling apart pretty soon. Their clothing and stuff. So we just want to... And this is stuff that we can't really get on our own very easily. As well, attempt to sell as much as we can here. Again, we have to be a little bit careful, because they like to ask for more stuff. If you don't give them quite enough value and then they'll ask for my crutches and stuff and it's like, well, we can't give you those. I can give them the crutches and splints, I guess. I can't really part with like the quivers and stuff though. Those are irreplaceable currently. Till we get a lot more animals that we can chop up into leathers and things. That is one expensive barrel. Holy cow. It's funny. Cave spider stuff is very cheap. But giant cave spider stuff. Ooh. <laughs> No, they only have cloth. They did not bring any leather. It's a bit of a pain because we need leather too. I'm just going to buy some cheap bags then because it's kind of the point of why I need leather. Yeah. This seems fine. We're starting to get an iron industry made here. So, ooh. Alpaca. I don't know if we have a male alpaca. We might. I'll take it. Please accept this offer. You jerk. Wow. Yeah, there's like a million things. I can't even scroll through the list. That's also probably something that needs to be fixed. This is bugged. What the hell? Whatever. I think he only selected... No, you can't have my backpack, man. And more of this stuff. It needs to, like, show you in some way, like, what stuff has been marked by them. Temp 
this. They had an extremely profitable trade there compared to what they really should have been. Should have gotten, but that's okay. Have anyone for this? No, let's give someone. Give the surgeon also the job of this, but then I'm also going to get rid of their name is Cog Meb. Med. There they are. Gonna disable those so you can focus on doing that. We'll also, hopefully, not have too many things that you can not get other jobs done. Maybe all the seeds are just in that one barrel. It's kind of weird, but it's plausible. All right, these bedrooms are made. I don't know how many beds we have. Again, would be wonderful if they added in, oh my God, there are no beds. Uh, can the manager not do the job because they need a, an office and everything? So that's going to be difficult without having <laughs> beds because I kind of need a bed for him to have a bedroom. To assign a manual bed job, I suppose. Not my favorite thing to do. Should not be necessary. And yet it is. All right, because we're assigning a room to a noble when i place this door i'm going to make a specific door so we want to find whatever the nicest doors in the house are it's gonna be the star one is pretty decent quality star we don't have any i thought we had a masterwork i must have uh, i don't know what door that is just clicked Okay, they're all the same level now. Just give me that one then. We had a masterwork one, but I must have used it for a workshop. I get this out of here because they're ugly. Table. It's our nicest looking table. A star level. That's fine. And we'll need another one. Stone. Chair. Guessing we probably don't have anything over a star. That's fine. Get those in. Zone. We need office here. We need dining hall here. We have the bed. What we've got zone bedroom here. Okay. So it's our manager who's currently having the issue. 
Let's see, we know who our manager is. It's Yulsuth Ruvler. So, is there we go now these aren't fully equipped rooms because i think they need cabinets for the study but he now has his bedroom desire filled you can now start taking count of our supplies too because he's also the bookkeeper he does a lot of the things actually Actually, I don't think he needs to be the chief medical dwarf anymore. Right? Because now... Yeah, that's going to be Edom. Edom is going to be our new chief medical dwarf. Just so we're... Just so our expedition leader doesn't have to do so many jobs. We claim those rocks. Okay, that's all the time we have for this episode. Hope you've all enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, hope you have a good day.